tell you Googlers and entrepreneurs and agencies out there, it's John Moran with Solutions 8, and today we're going to be showing you a really cool new feature that just came out in Google Ads, and it's actually something that is called, what does Google call it? A location insertion for responsive, responsive search ads. So let me try that again without messing up. A location insertion for responsive search ads. And what this does is it allows you to put a dynamic field in a headline or description of your, or both, of your responsive search ad and then allows you to uh, show the location that is selected to the person who is searching. So for example, if you're encompassing all of Arizona and someone is in Phoenix or someone's in Scottsdale or someone's in Mesa and they do a search and they get your responsive search ad, wherever that person is, that location is going to pop up in the headline. And it's amazing. It's an amazing new feature. And I think it's something that you're really gonna like. So let me show you how it works. So you'll see here, this is a responsive headline. We have right now 14 um, headlines and then four descriptions. But I wanted to share with you what this looks like. So um, right now it just says like your customers are searching. I actually did one of our uh, ads that we recently are turning off because it just said to not do as well. So I'm not giving away any good secrets. This is exactly what you shouldn't do if you're gonna try to copy it. <laughs> um, but what you'll see here is there's a new headline. And in the new headline, we're gonna hold down shift and type the bracket key. So this is gonna be actually this, I forget what Google calls it. It's a, um, let me see, it's called a um, brace. So this is called a brace key. And when you, it's actually just shift and left bracket. But when you have the brace key here, you'll see a new one called location insertion. And location insertion is going to give you some options. Would you like to have the city, the state, or the country? And obviously they give you examples. Um, let's just say city for now. When you use city, you're gonna see location city. And I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna pin this to headline number one so I can share with you what it looks like. So you'll see Derby, like that's the name of a city. Uh, Chester, Baraga, Lawrence. Um, and the reason why it's coming up, this is just because this is saying the city. Now, here's the cool part. Then you put some information before that. Best agency in and then that's it there so now when you see the ad best agency in lake preston best agency in bray best agency in fenton wherever your user is they're going to see best agency in and then it's going to dynamically pull in where that user is it's a really really cool feature um now there's other a couple other things that you should be aware of one is you're going to need to have at least three other um headlines that are not using dynamic insertion. This can't just be the only one. You have to have something else. You still can pin it though. And there's a cool little trick for you. If you always wanted to have number one, you'll see it always pulls up in headline number one because I pinned it there. Um, there's another thing that you want to do is you'll want to use a uh, colon and then default text. So colon Scottsdale. And the reason why this is important is the default text of Scottsdale when you apply it. It means if it cannot identify the city that they're in, it's automatically going to default to what you would say there. So it doesn't just end up saying best agency in. Uh, it'll actually put Scottsdale there because that's where Solutions 8 is. Um, and so with this type of headline here, if you're looking at um, building a, you know, a country or state or city specific, like if you're a dentist, if you're a doctor, whatever, anything local, and you wanted to have any, your targeting is let's say 50 miles around this, city, that's way too much for dentists, 20 miles around this area, and you have an area with high population of city, like let's say you're in you know, Long Island in New York, um, this is a way for you to identify, uh, or this is a way for you to put into your headline or even your description where you are. So when someone is Googling for, you know, dentist near me, it's going to say best dentist in, bam, and it's going to be physically in the city that they're searching for. So Really cool feature. I would highly, highly recommend using it. Uh, we're going to be testing it out now and seeing how it's going to have some results. So I'll share that with you uh, soon. We're probably just going to use the state because we are in Arizona and we run our campaigns nationwide. So um, cities not going to really be too relevant for people in you know Florida. They're not going to know where, or maybe they know Scottsdale. I'm not sure. Yeah, do people in Florida know where Scottsdale is? I'm not sure. Yeah, anyway, we'll probably just do Arizona, but uh, we're going to be testing these and uh, we're testing them with some clients of ours. We have about 100 clients that we can test this with that I'm really excited about. So I want to share that with you all and uh, you know, try to put it in your ad and, and maybe have some feedback and let me know what you think. Um, really, really, really cool feature. Again, this is John Moran with Solutions 8. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your grandma, grandpa, uncle, friends, neighbors, co dogs, cousin, whatever it is. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.